It's a tale of he said, she said, after a Facebook post went viral surrounding the St. Clairsville Public Library. 7 News anchor Stephanie Grindley has the exclusive report on how the debacle of ink etched into one's skin is leaving permanent scars on the director and his former employees. Are tattoos unprofessional? That was the question posed at the St. Clairsville Public Library. And well, it's resulted in one employee quitting and another being fired. A month into her dream job, Ariana Johnston was taken aside by library director Doug Walsh. He told me that I needed to cover up my tattoos, um, even though there was nothing in the dress code policy and it hadn't been a problem the month prior. On this mother's hand, the name of her first child and on the blank hand, soon to be another name of the baby on the way. Was she supposed to wear gloves? Well, she didn't. And from there, he decided that they wanted to update the policy through the board. Director Doug Walsh sees it differently. Our policy really doesn't say anything about dress. He tells me he was just trying to update ancient dress code and gather more input from two employees who have tattoos. So you never told either one of them to cover up their tattoos? No, and I believe the employees knew that because they remained uncovered. He says Ariana took it the wrong way. So it's like, not it felt so random, I figured that maybe something had happened and I just wasn't aware of it. So I did ask him if a patron complained or, you know, something, and he said that there wasn't. And so, ahead of the board meeting, she took to Facebook. Police officers, hospital workers started messaging her saying they have tattoos and aren't asked to cover up on the job. It caught the library board's eye. Two meetings were held. Ariana says there was no formal way to file a grievance under the current policy. It was a very stressful work environment and I was started to have some health issues with my pregnancy. Days after the second meeting, she quit. Ariana says her co-worker with tattoos who had been working at the library for seven months with no problems was also asked to cover up. She too filed a written grievance. Three days later, she was fired. Ohio is an at-will state, meaning the library does not need to give a reason for why they let someone go. But we asked Mr. Walsh for exactly that. Why? It was clear to the board and um, the administration that the employee wasn't happy. Your stance on tattoos, where does that stand right now? Do you believe it's still unprofessional? Uh, so I, I never believed that tattoos okay. were unprofessional. While the dress code is undecided, well, if you're a patron entering the St. Clairsville Public Library, well, Doug Walsh says you're welcome, tattoos or not. In Belmont County for 7 News, I'm Stephanie Grinley working for you. Ariana says while this tattoo debacle has left her without a job, it's not discouraging her from getting more tattoos in the future. And now it's time to take a look at that forecast tonight.